Hi guys and welcome back to Tuesday's edition of Taekwondo Step by Step. I'm Andrew. You know, these days, in our busy, difficult lifestyles, a lot of us suffer some really difficult problems, stress-related illnesses. And they say that the best way to take care of them can be through things like music, or they say even having a pet, an animal, can be really good for you. You know, you enjoy time with your pet and that sort of thing. But an even better way to do it is to exercise and get rid of your stress that way. So let's begin today with Master Lee's demonstration. Oof. Master Lee, welcome back. Hello everyone, I'm Lee Gyu Hyun. And Master Lee, thank you very, very much. Andrew, what's this all about? Oh, well, Master Lee, every day you come out and you really teach us very well and you put all this time into it. And so I would like to say thank you. All of us would like to say thank you. So I'm saying thank you. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, I feel grateful to our faithful audience for tuning in to Taekwondo Step by Step. Then today, let's start our lesson with a feeling of gratitude towards each other. Okay guys, I've said thank you for us all. Now we need to get into it, put plenty of effort into today's lesson with Master Lee. It's time for one step sparring. Once again, we'll be practicing the Tuya Chagi. When the opponent comes in with a Yup Chagi, We'll learn how to counter that with a duo yapchagi. Watch carefully. Hello! Tongue! 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 Always, always watch the opponent attentively as you go into the basic stance. The opponent will be doing a yapchagi like this. Now the key is to step back quickly with the extended leg, thereby avoiding his attack. You're not merely avoiding the kick but at the same time, getting ready for a counter maneuver. When the opponent misses and drops his foot to the ground, that's when you jump high for a yapchagi. At this instance, if you focus too much on raising your kicking leg high, you might lose your balance as the other leg will be drooping to the floor. For example, it's like this when your balance is lopsided. So the best way is to raise both legs equally and strike with one extended leg. We'll watch this in actual speed. Did you all get that? You can practice again. Now make sure that when you do all of these movements, they have to be just as natural as breathing, as you'll see in the next demonstration. It's time now for the real taste of Taekwondo, free sparring. Okay, enough of warming up. You can now concentrate on maximizing your Taekwondo instincts with free sparring. Well, first, I want you to observe how I'll lure the opponent. There are two ways of feinting. One is to advance forward 
and the other is to skip in and retreat. But this one is to step forward and then step sideways, like this. If the opponent is experienced, he'll see that move coming and counter my move with a hurigi. So thinking in advance, while stepping sideways, you prepare to spin around to do a bomdolyo hurigi on his face. You spin around and kick like this. This maneuver is very powerful and might even knock him out cold. One reminder is after luring him to the side, don't forget to follow up on the strategy with a kick. We'll watch it in actual speed. <laughs> Did you get that, everyone? Now, if you guys have been practicing and following along like you should have, you're probably pretty tired now. But that's no problem. We've still got one more section to go for you to really get into it. So make sure you get your energy back. Now it's time for everything from beginning to the end in today's point. The time for you to enjoy taking care of yourself and enjoy learning how to be bad. Taekwondo, real life. We're back, back on the streets of Seoul, ready to teach the people here just exactly how to take care of themselves. Let's go and grab one more person, shall we? Excuse me, we're here from Arirang TV, Taekwondo step by step. Have you ever seen our program? No, I'm sorry, I've never seen it. <gasps> Well then, you wouldn't know what to do if somebody came up and grabbed you like this. What would you do? Maybe I will yell. I have no idea. <laughs> You're in trouble, but we'll show you exactly what to do. Master Lee. Hello, nice to meet you. Yes, I want to try. If an assailant grabs your shoulder from the side, you firmly grab his hand. And then, taking your left foot a step back, you slide your right hand underneath and twist his elbow downward and then you tilt his hand upward like this. Okay, you're confident? Mm -hmm. Well, let's go and do it for real in Taekwondo, real life. That looks pretty good to me. How do you feel? I think I won. Think you won? Well, let's ask Master Lee. Master Lee! Yeah. Well, she did this very well since his elbow is locked firm and the hand is tilted up. She passed. Oh! Congratulations! Thank Don't forget you. to join us tomorrow for more, okay? Oh. Every day we're filled with choices and you guys made an excellent choice today because you joined us here. Make sure that you continue to make good choices like that. Yes, well, we do hope you had a productive workout and we promise to be back tomorrow with more to teach you. Thank you for teaching us again, Master Lee. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hello.